His name is Luke Combs, and he is one of the biggest and best country music singers we have in the world today. We're going to look at his song called Doing This, and we're going to do it right now. Hello, welcome. We're going to look at Luke Combs' song today called Doing This. What I like about this song is it's kind of biographical. I'm going to suppose he wrote it. I'll check after this video to make sure that he did. Uh, but it kind of tells his story. And I love, you know, people ask this of singers all the time. Um, what would you be doing if you weren't famous? What would you be doing if you weren't singing? He answers that in this song. And I want to talk about more about that after the video. My only disappointment here is I couldn't use the music video because the music video also tells the story very well. But when I tried to upload that to YouTube, it said your video is blocked worldwide, which means they don't want me to show it because of copyright. So I went and found another video. This is Luke Combs singing this at the Grand Ole Opry, singing, doing this at the Grand Ole Opry. And that's the video we're going to use. Before we do, if you don't mind, if you haven't yet, would you like and subscribe? I would certainly appreciate it. It helps this channel so much. And also you'll get to see our next video videos. Here we go. Ooh, I love watching people perform on the Opry. It just doesn't get any better than that. Such a country music tradition. Almost a hundred years old. Someone asked me once in an interview What was growing up like? Where'd you go to school and what would you do? You weren't doing this. I'd be driving my first car in a worn out dock, trying to make rent with a dead end job. Yeah. Yeah. I swear, I swear it's what you're doing. Yeah, he'd still be singing. I'd have a Friday night crowd in the park. Yeah, you would. You got chills yet? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is what I love. I, I can't I can't hold it back. This is what I love about songs like this. There's some people that get, well, I think most famous musicians start for the love of music. I do think somewhere in their path, a lot of them keep doing what they do for the fame, the money, the glory, whatever the case may be. And I'm not knocking those people. If I was in their position, I'd be tempted by those things as well. But there are some musicians, and Willie Nelson always comes to mind, but uh, there's a lot of musicians, and Luke Combs sounds like he'd be one of them, who says, it doesn't matter if I never made it, if I never made it big at all, if I never became famous, I was going to do music. I was just going to do music, and almost becoming famous was secondary. It was absolutely secondary to what he loved, and that is music. Now, he's ultra-talented. He's very good at what he does. But there's a lot of people that don't make it that are ultra talented and are very good at what they do. You can't go into this thing saying I'm going into it for the fame because you don't know if the fame will ever follow. And that's what I love about this. I feel like he's speaking from the heart that if he was still, what did he just turn 30? He's mid 30 or early 30s now, very early 30s. If he was still singing in a, in a small town bar, barely making the ends meet from the tip jar, like he just said, I think he would still be doing that. And that, isn't that just cool? It breaks down everything. It breaks down all the commercialism and the money, and it just brings it back to the music and the people, which is how every career like this starts. Amazing, amazing. Still be the same guy they knew back in the day. 
Yeah. He was burning CDs just to give away paying his due. If I wouldn't do this, five deep in a van, head full of steam. Hot on the heels of my neon dreams, baby, come true. Living this life, just like I was born to do. I'd have a Friday night crowd in the palm of my hand. Couple brown liquor, couple buddies in the band. Yeah, yeah. Because he's doing it for the music. And how it moves. I'd be feeling on fire on a hardwood stage. Bright lights like a lightning running through my face. At the grand old library or a show in some no name town. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. Boy, he's putting everything he's got into it. Look at him go. Man, I'm wore out just watching him. He's putting every single ounce into it. Someone asked me once in an interview What was growing up like? Where'd you go to school and what would you do? Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I've got so much to know. Oh, my stars. Absolutely amazing. First of all, let me ask you something. Tell me another genre that can do a song like that, that can do a song about mama and daddy, can do a song about love, can do a song about sex, can do a song about church, can do a song about Sunday afternoon, can do a song about heartbreak, can do a song about trucks, can do a song about cotton, can do a song about mama's apple pie, can do a song about America, can do a song about truth, love, and the United, and, and the United States of America and the country, and tell me any genre that does all that. I don't know of one, and that's why I love country music. It takes your entire life and puts it into music. And, and I, I've got big respect for Luke Combs coming to the Grand Ole Opry like he does, putting every ounce into his singing like he does. It just makes me proud. It really makes me proud. And let me get at something else. You know, they talk about the country music family. I think country music has the best family of any genre of music. How would I say this? You don't listen to country music because you're famous. You don't listen to country music because you're making money. You don't make, listen to country music because that. You listen to country music because you like country music. He didn't start making country music because he was famous. Luke Combs, he's not your prototypical country singer. He's not the one that generally the TV cameras are going to go to. He doesn't have the, you know, the, the nice slick back hair and the nice big muscles and the slim belly and all that, all that, that you just imagine country stars, you know, the camera wants these days, the execs want these days. He didn't try to present himself like that. He presented himself like Luke Combs. And he said, screw everything else. I'm Luke Combs and I'm going to make the music that I want to hear. I've heard him say that. I write the music I want to hear. You might also be, uh, be curious to know he didn't really get into country music until he was in college in North Carolina. North Carolina? I think it was Appalachian State. I'm, a, I'm pretty sure it was Appalachian State and I'm assuming that's in North Carolina. <laughs> I know that but I think it is.
I could be wrong there. I do know he didn't get into country music until college. And I think Eric Church, uh, he was listening to some Eric Church music. Y- y'all should go check that out. I've read his story before. It's been a few minutes since. That is amazing. Luke Holmes, Grand Ole Opry. If you haven't been to the Grand Ole Opry, do, do. Well, that was fun. I like that. Hey, if uh, since you're still here, if you don't mind, would you like and subscribe? We do country music here, and I love it. I love country music. I've been looking for an outlet for my love for country music that didn't just involve me listening to more of it, and that's why I do this. And if you want to take a look at the video description below there, you will find a link to Patreon if you want to help us out there. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for sticking with us. Take care.